Your paracetamol left. I think you now had the last of them. She's in a worse state than you. Oh, great. I'll get it. So he's probably the only one of you that's not feeling like a dog's dinner. And the party was meant for her. She had a good time though, didn't she? Look, um, Kat. There's something I've got to tell you. For a minute then, I thought he'd ruined it. What? Harry, sending her them flowers. You think he'd ruined her life enough? Yeah, he has. Who was that on the phone? Dr. Truman, my hospital test results come back. Got the all clear. Great news. You'll be back running marathons for you, know it. I want something done about Harry, Dad. I don't want to go through that every year. Should we hire a hitman? I think we should go to the police. You can't! I'm sorry, but Harry's got to pay for what he's done. But it's not that simple. I'd rather we discuss this later. Oh, I get it. I'm 18, but I still ain't trusted as an adult. I don't believe you. Why is everyone in this family so scared of the truth? Nice one, Dad. Harry's dead. What? Police came last night. I, um, I told your sisters this morning before Belinda went. Did the decent thing, did he? Topped himself? I think it was a heart attack. He was in his flat. No one found him for three days. I bet he stank the place out. Wouldn't be a first. I, uh, I've asked the girls not to say anything because they want a chance to talk to Zoe properly. No, I should be the one to tell her. It's down to me. He was my brother. And so is my daughter. And I know you lot don't want to believe I it. I don't want to argue about this, cat. It's going to be hard enough. You better be quick then. Because if she thinks for one second we're keeping any more secrets from her... We're not. Zoe's not the only one that's had more lies than she can stomach. 